Hello everyone. This week Brandon has chosen to uh, read Daniel and the Lion's Den. Daniel and the Lion's Den. Here we go. Darius has 120 royal rulers over his entire kingdom. He placed three leaders in charge. One of the leaders was Daniel. He was a good man, so the king planned to put him in charge of the whole kingdom. The other rulers were jealous and tried to find something wrong with the way Daniel ran the government. They weren't able to. Daniel could always be trusted. He never did anything wrong and he always did what he was supposed to do. Finally, these men said, if we want to get Daniel into trouble, but he's such a good ruler. Instead, let's find a problem with the law of his God. The rulers went to the king. They said, we've agreed that you should give an, an order and you should make sure it's obeyed. Don't let any of your people pray to any God or human being except to, to you for the next 30 days. If they do, throw them into the lion's den. Daniel found out about the new law. In spite of that, he did just as he had always done before. He went to his room three times a day to pray. He got down on his knees and gave thanks to God. Some of the other royal officials went to where Daniel was staying. They saw him praying and asking help for God. They went to the king and told him, Daniel doesn't obey the order you put in writing. He still prays to his God three times a day. When the king heard this, he was very upset. He didn't want Daniel to be harmed and he did everything he could to save him. Then the men went as a group to the king Darius. They said to him, your majesty, Remember that no order or command you give can be changed. So the king gave the order. Daniel was brought out and thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, you always serve God faithfully, so may he save you. The stone was brought and placed over the opening of the den. Then nothing could be done to help Daniel. <sighs> The king returned to his palace. He didn't eat anything that night. He didn't ask for anything to be brought to him for his enjoyment, and he couldn't sleep. As soon as the sun began to rise, the king got up. He hurried to the lion's den. When he got near it, he called out to Daniel. His voice was filled with great concern. He said, Daniel, you serve the living God. You always serve him faithfully. So has he been able to save you from the lions? Daniel answered, Your Majesty, may you live forever. My God sent his angel and his angel shut the mouths of the lions. They haven't hurt me at all. That's because I haven't done anything wrong in God's sight. I've never done anything wrong to you either, Your Majesty. The king was filled with joy. He ordered his servants to lift Daniel out of the den. So they didn't. They did. They didn't see any wounds on him. That's because he had trusted in his God. Oh, great reading, Brandon. Well done. Did you like the story? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think it teaches us? What do you think we learn? I think it teaches us that God is always with us and uh, even if you're in a bad situation, if you pray to God, he's always with you and trusts you. Mm, good. You can trust in him, have faith yeah. in him. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And you'll save us. Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you won't see the last of us. <laughs> Have a great week, you guys. See you soon. God bless. Bye bye. bye, -bye. It's great. <laughs>